Tragedy occurred at the third mainland bridge where a commercial bus somersaulted several times after a brake failure and flung two persons inside the lagoon. Emergency responders FRC and NEMA say the accident was caused by brake failure that could not be salvaged due to overspeeding. TVC News senior reporter Ayomidia J. Ray has more. This is the effect of this accident. The railings is off and you can see the speed that with which the vehicle was coming forced it to enter into this water and two persons are still under the water yet to be rescued. We were informed that there was a crash on this uh, Thorn Melan Bridge involving an LT yellow bus by eyewitness uh, that uh, the vehicle somersaulted onto the rail, rail guard uh, many times in the process two occupants were flung into the lagoon, a male and a female. The Marine Police, the LASEMA, the NEMA, and uh, LASMA, all other rescue emergency services have been around to see how we can carry out rescue operations on those that fell into the lagoon. Two teams from the Nigerian Police uh, Mobile, I mean Marine Corps, turn up to assist. However, by now, we are not looking at search and rescue again. We are only trying to get to do a recovery because the first passenger, a male, was said to have jumped about two or three times before it was finally drawn, drowned, while the woman did not even surface at all. So the possibility of any one of them surviving. However, we are mobilizing more civil, uh, local divers to join the team for recovery operations. The smoothness of this road since the repair is a temptation for drivers to speed and go overboard. Now, can we say that it is wrong for government to fix roads? Of course no. People who ply this road on a daily basis need to learn how to control their speed so as not to be in this danger. First responders, NEMA, stakeholders, FRSC are all trying their best. They have even employed uh, local divers to ensure that they could rescue the bodies from under the water. Ayomidia Jake, TVC News.